Hi. Third episode. Worst case scenario. That's Jacob. <laughs> oh, just let me go, man. How long have I been here? Oh, gosh, Jacob. He's just worried about time. The only reason that you are worried about time, I feel, is if you have someone that is waiting for you. Oh, yeah, that would be the only reason right now it has nothing to do with me being held against my will whatsoever you're not being held against your will you're being held because i'm trying to help against my will well yeah but yeah, yeah. in the end you're gonna learn really something i'm ass here you know what i'm saying like it's just it's amazing anyways i'm gonna teach this guy some lesson well, i'm not answering no more questions Nope. Fuck your game show. Fuck you. Hey, I'd be out here in the woods, surviving and shit. Wanna know why? Because I know how to, alright? I've been training for years. So I'm gonna test and see if you have as much courage and gumption as I do. This is the worst case scenario. I dig out. Third episode, Jacob. Oh, I count to three, good job. So, I feel like since this is the third, ep third episode, we should try to get to know each other more. So, uh, let's see, what can I tell you? I like pirates. Um, I feel like they get like a bad rap from society as a whole. Cause all they focus on in the is the plundering. And it's like, why? Why just focus on that? I'm sure the pirates did good things also. Right? For instance, they introduced us to the word booty. That is a classic word. Okay? That word has gone through the, the test of time. Think about how proud they would be to know that we're still using booty to this day. something about myself I like pirates um, you got anything to say anything interesting you got what are you what are you into what's your favorite color you ever, you ever seen the movie up a pretty sad beginning right the, they show the whole like their life together and stuff and then then she dies it's pretty sad so while it was pretty good too there was a lot of talking from the main character but I think he still carried the movie as a, as a whole Okay then, question number one. How do you outrun a bear? Do you A, run uphill, B, run through water, or C, you can't, they run as fast as a horse? So you're saying you're not able to outrun a bear is what you're saying, you're not athletically inclined so if a bear when it comes to a bear you're supposed to stand your fucking ground if you run they're gonna chase you you make yourself as big as fucking possible and you try to scare it away and you've learned this where the bear academy oh well <laughs> money well spent because you got that right it did you're absolutely right you can't outrun a bear if you see a bear, you're basically just meat. Uh, you just gotta, that whole thing about being as big as you possibly can. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck with that shit. You might as well just yell. You remember that yelling shit you were doing in the first episode? Yeah, do a lot of that. Remember a, a lot of yelling voice. I'm such a pussy, and I got tricked into coming on a game show. Yeah, your mom was doing a lot of yelling the other night. Really? Yep. Hmm. Did she get this next question right? She got a lot of questions right. Alright, let's see. How? How? 
how to treat an ingestion of fish toxins. So if you're in the ocean, my friend, and you happen to- Who the fuck cares about that? Who the fuck cares? Well, what is that what I'm trying to say? When I'm, you're in the I, ocean You know what? Day, I'm never gonna be in the ocean. No, nope. nope. You never know. You might I'm be on a ship or on an airplane, and then it crashes. Nope. And then guess what? Because you're in the middle of the ocean, like that. and you have to survive, like and you have to find a fish. And let's say all of a sudden, you, you, you eat one of those goddamn, what is it, tiger lion fishes, and the toxins get in you. Huh? How the hell are you How are you gonna survive? How are you gonna know how to survive that scenario, buddy, old pal of mine? Huh? Yeah, exactly. This can come in handy. So, if you happen to be dropped into the ocean and you eat one of them lion fishes and you get toxins in you, how do you get rid of it? Do you drink salt water? Why did I say watcher? Watch, watcher. Salt watcher. I don't know what's more. I'm right. thirsty for some watcher. Answering your questions or Do you have trying any? to hear you. Okay, sorry, sorry. I got distracted. I got distracted by the watcher. Because I said it weird. Simple and it makes minds. me. Simple minds are distracted by simple things, aren't they? What? Simple minds are distracted by simple things, aren't they? Are you are you as bad as hearing as you are at reading? I bet this is your your parents' house, isn't it? You're one of those people. How do you survive? That's that's where I am. A threat. If you ingest fish toxins, you dick. Do you a drink salt water to induce vomiting and rid your body of the toxins, or do you b drink water to dilute the toxins before your stomach can absorb them, or do you c boil green seaweed known as sea lettuce in water, then drain and drink? Which one do you do, smart ass, Mister? I will survive this scenario. Do you a b or c? First of all, if you got dropped in the fucking ocean, where are you going to get water from? You idiot, you're in the middle of the goddamn ocean. No, 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 no. You said A, you drink salt water. B, you said you drink water. Where'd you get the fucking water from? What? Salt water is also water. Oh, okay, okay. You see, you see, you see how your questions are bullshit? Okay, anyway. Fucking C. So that sounds like the stupidest shit. You so think that's probably the right answer? If you all of a sudden were on a fucking cruise and got thrown overboard oh. because your ass annoyed all of the patriots on the ship, oh, I would be. And and annoyed. and all of a sudden you get you ingested some goddamn lionfish because you don't know how to goddamn survive. How the fuck are you gonna catch the lionfish? I don't know. You you look agile. Just because you're a big dude, it doesn't mean you can't be agile. I'm not bodyist, if that's a word. I wouldn't assume because you're a big man, you're not able to jump like a mermaid, to, to, to glide through the water as if you're some kind of a pelican diving into the deep for fish. So if I could swim that well, why would I worry about catching a fish when I can just swim after the cruise ship that I just got thrown off? Okay, I just have the questions. You have the answers, okay? All right, it's not up to me to answer. It's up to you. You're so, right. You're so, so right. my friend, oh, see. if you I, are- I, so I see. fucking so you see. think that boiling green seaweed How you as boil sea seaweed? lettuce is water and then drain it and drink it. Okay, fine. Let's see. See? Wrong, bitch. You're wrong. It's A. A. You drink salt water to induce vomiting to get rid of the toxins, you okay. fucking moron. Okay, so you would drink salt water to throw up, which is going to make you more dehydrated. So you're going to you're gonna not die from the toxins, but you're going to die from fucking dehydration. Well, one is quicker than the other ass. Uh, Oh, okay. okay, but that's not surviving. It is. That's yes, not surviving. it is. You survive. So you're surviving another. Toxins. You're surviving another hour just to die from something you did to survive that hour. Survive. Because that makes fucking sense. You know what makes sense? You know what? Oh, just like just like if a snake bit my leg and I'm getting venom, I'm gonna cut my leg off, but I'm gonna die from blood loss. You see how you're fucking? You, oh my god, I'm surrounded by fucking idiots. You know what, you asshole. I would have so much more respect for you if your questions and answers made fucking sense. But you know what, honestly, I I, I, I feel I feel horrible that I'm being kidnapped, but I feel even worse that I'm being kidnapped by the fucking stupidest kidnapper in the fucking world. I am hurt by 
was that statement? If I did not take lessons on how to survive emotional abuse, I would be breaking down by right, right now, but luckily, I went to the Y that day and I took classes, so I know all I have to do is think and know that the only reason you are bullying me is because your family life I is bully, horrible. I bully and you. So you have to then put it on God, me only. so that you can feel better. So, okay. Ooh, he is a single man. He's one of those, those guys who just stays in his living room by himself with no wife, no kids, so no one to love him. You're judging me. You're judging my life. Love him. You're judging my life after what I've seen over these over this time. Question. You're judging my social Number life. Number three. I thought that we would grow as friends in this situation, but I am seeing that that is wrong on my part. I thought we were gonna get closer with this situation, but I can see not. I can see not. I can see where this is going. Because kidnapping someone. Time Question number three: How to avoid like, a bar fight in Australia? First of all, I thought you said survivors don't get inebriated a couple episodes ago. So why would you be at a bar to get into a fight? Okay, first of all, I as a survivor don't oh get inebriated. Some survivors do get inebriated, okay? Like that asshole Bear Grylls. Okay, some, some non-survivors who pretend like the survivors Bear Grylls gets inebriated, but someone like me, and Mike Hockey, we do not get inebriated, okay? So don't you dare compare me to an asshole like Bear Grylls. I'd much rather watch that show than this game show. I'd much rather eat some Tostitos right now, but you don't see me complaining. I'm just trying to educate you. Clog and... your arteries, not a good survivor's choice in my opinion. So who the hell are you to tell me about clog arteries or surviving? I'm the expert in both those fields. Question number three. How to avoid a bar fight in Australia? A. Do not put your bar glass upside down in the bar. This indicates that you think you can win a fight with another man in there. B. Do not take off your hat and order a beer. This indicates that you worship the devil. C. Do not take off your shirt or shoes by law. Bar owners have the right to throw you out of their establishment if you remove either of these clothing items. So which one? How do you avoid a bar fight in Australia? B. So you think if you're in Australia, down on the the best way to survive a fight is to B. Do not take off your hat in order in order beer. This indicates that you are a devil worshipper. Okay, fine. B. Wrong. 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 Oh, how silly of me! How silly of me to get that wrong. You got you got one right again. I didn't know better than last time. <laughs> you you, 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 you started out strong, and then you failed. And you failed again. You know what that means? What does it mean if you fail? More lessons, like school. If you fail your test, you get another test. <laughs> <laughs> this has been episode three of Worst Case Scenario. <laughs> Say bye, Jacob. Say bye, Jacob. Bye, Jacob. I got to get up with you. Bye. Okay, fine. You're no fun, man. I just can't. I can't win with you. I just can't. Yeah, I guess you just have to let me go then, huh? I never. You have to. You say you, say you oh, said it. You will never let me go. So why the fuck am I answering any more questions? You let me finish. You let me finish. Episode let me finish. four is canceled. Episode four is canceled. Let me finish my Episode four is canceled.